So you want to become a software engineer, but you aren't sure if you should get a degree, go to a boot camp, or become a self-taught software engineer. Now, if you're new around here, my name is Ryan Siddiqui. I work at Microsoft. For me personally, I'm a self-taught developer. I don't have a degree yet. I've just taught myself how to code by watching YouTube videos and following online courses. But in this video, I'll be explaining what value a degree holds in today's age, what value a bootcamp holds in today's age, and the value of becoming a self-taught programmer in today's age. So let's begin. Now, the first thing is a degree. Now with a degree, the traditional path into getting a job is still valid. You, you're in high school, you get good grades, get accepted to a higher ranking college, you perform well, you get a degree, you apply into jobs, and you get a job. Now this path is still valid. And for almost majority of the population, this still works. Like going through a formal, rigorous computer science degree, a computer science program, and especially at a well-reputed um, institute, really helps polish your overall skill set and brings your value up. So this value still holds. So the value of a degree still holds. The second thing is a boot camp. Now, boot camp is for someone who don't want to invest in a full four year degree, a full year bachelor's degree, but they still want to learn the prerequisites or all the fundamental of programming and um, software engineering concepts to be able to break into the industry. Now, boot camp is for them. Now, boot camp is typically four, six, nine or a year long, four, six, nine months long or a year long. Uh, boot camps, they go through all the core engineering practices, they teach you a language or two, and then they give you a diploma or a certification, and then you're off um, to apply for jobs in the industry. The third option that you have is becoming a self-taught programmer. Now, for me personally, I've done that. I've, I've been a self-taught programmer. I've learned how to code on my own on from YouTube, following YouTube tutorials, online courses and such. So this is still really popular now. So now with a degree, um, in today's age especially, it's not necessary to get a degree to break into the tech industry. You can break into the tech industry even without a degree or a diploma. Now, in this age when everyone has access to all this knowledge on YouTube, on Wikipedia, on Google, a degree is not necessary, but it is super valuable. I'll tell you that. There are a lot of people who give a negative image to degrees, getting a degree. I tell you not. From my experiences working at Microsoft, a degree is super helpful, especially in computer science. So I'm speaking relative to computer science. I don't know about other fields, but with computer science, degrees are super important. I think they give you a lot of valuable, like rigorous training with algorithms and all these different practices that it, it, it really gives you an advantage. But, but these are for people who are good at uh, getting instructions. But if you're someone like me, for example, who like to do things on their own, like I, you don't really need instruction a lot, like you can just figure stuff out. A degree might not be for you, might not be a good investment of your time, especially four years of your life. You're better off just learning online, but this only applies in one condition. Only learn online and like fully take on the path of becoming a self-taught programmer. If uh, you can grind it out, like if you have the willpower to grind it out, like put long hours in, make like so many different projects and really like put your heart and soul into making a name for yourself then and only then can you become a successful self-start programmer whereas if you have a degree you have a bit of a freeway like your degree in, of, in and of itself has a bit of value that you can present to others and a boot camp on the other hand is a hybrid of two so it's where you have a formal training through an institute but it's way shorter in length it's only about uh, engineering only about programming so make sure you keep these three things in mind um, whenever you're looking into these three options if you're starting to get into tech or if you're looking to change careers from another um, from another profession into the tech industry make sure you keep these three things in mind let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a deeper video into these so in this video we just briefly touched on a value of a degree a value of a boot camp and whether or not you should become a self-taught programmer if you don't decide to go into a boot camp or, a or get a formal university degree. So let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.